Greetings, this is Brother Eli with another episode of Bible Truth Revealed. Today's teaching is a bonus to my three-part series entitled, Why I Reject the KJV. That is, Why I Reject the KJV. In part one, I demonstrated that the inaccuracies in the KJV begin as early as Genesis chapter 2. In part 2, I revealed one false promise made in the KJV, and in part 3, I presented one example of how the KJV mixes fact with fiction. In today's teaching, I will demonstrate the danger of mixing fact with fiction. We have already seen that in 1 Samuel chapter 16 in the KJV, King Saul had a great relationship with David, and he knew that he was the son of Jesse. Yet, in the very next chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 17, the KJV revealed that King Saul did not know either David or his father. This is a clear contradiction in the KJV, which proves that the Masoretic text from which it was translated cannot be trusted. Nevertheless, some people may choose to dismiss this as a harmless mistake that has no impact on how we choose to live today. Therefore, I will use the very next chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 18 in the KJV to demonstrate that mixing fact with fiction is never a good idea when dealing with the Holy Scriptures, which Christians call the Old Testament. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4. This is 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4 in the KJV. It reads thus, And it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day, and would let him go no more home to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant, because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him, and gave it to David, and his garments, even to his sword, and to his bow, and to his girdle. This passage has led many people to speculate about whether David and Jonathan had a sexual relationship. Verse 4 in particular clearly shows that Jonathan removed his clothing in the presence of David. Many people argue that the mere fact that Jonathan removed his clothing in front of David is evidence that they had a sexual relationship. This has caused many people to re-examine the laws regarding sexual relationship with a view towards reinterpreting them. To be clear, as a result of 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4, there are people who believe that Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22 and Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 must not really mean that it is an abomination for men to lie with one another. On the other hand, there are those who insist that the Levitical laws are clear and that there must have been another reason for Jonathan to remove his clothing in David's presence. This has been the cause of endless debates among Bible believers. Should the scriptures about sexuality be reinterpreted in light of 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4? Does this passage really indicate that David and Jonathan had a sexual relationship? If not, why did Jonathan remove his clothing in front of David? 
Under what conditions is it appropriate for a man to strip himself of his clothing in the presence of another man? All these are legitimate questions that demand reasonable answers from those who accept 1 Samuel chapter 18 verses 1 to 4 as part of the Holy Scriptures.